I just wanted to begin by saying, first of all, that when the um, family of Justice Brandeis approached me and said that we've heard from this person, Deb Peel, about creating a award in honor of uh, grandfather, um, do you think that's a good idea? I said, well, I think you know, Deb Peel is the leading advocate for patient privacy rights in the United States, and it's a great idea. And uh, they went ahead and were very happy to create the um, award. Um, and I noticed recently that the uh, article, The Right to Privacy, according to a, a law journal, is uh, holding as the number two article of all time cited in American law reviews. Now, the article that occupies number one is on economic theory, and knowing how that's all worked out, I think we can just kind of push that one aside and give Brandeis the, the, the top spot. It is no doubt the most influential uh, article in American law uh, ever published. Um, the other thing I want to say, of course, as, as a president and director of advocate, it's a, a real honor for me to work with people uh, like our awardee and other members of our advisory board, including uh, Deb Peel, Latonya Sweeney, Frank uh, Asquale. I have the opportunity to uh, testify in Congress and file briefs in court, and I'm frequently uh, citing their articles, which frankly I don't actually understand. Uh, but my thinking is that if I cite them correctly, it will add some credibility to whatever I'm saying. So I want to thank you. Uh, for all of your uh, prodigious academic work, um, which is completely over my head. Um, now, for our awardee. Um, it seems a little bit odd, if you think about it for a moment, uh, to give a, a Brandeis Award uh, to a non-lawyer, uh, a non-American, uh, a computer scientist, in fact. You're kind of almost at the opposite end of the spectrum, pretty much. Um, but I thought about it a little bit, and I thought this is actually a very uh, appropriate award, and, and one I think that Justice Brandeis uh, would appreciate. Uh, many of us, of course, think of Brandeis today because of the famous article on the right to privacy, which had a big impact on American tort law, as well as his dissent in the Olmstead case, which had a big intent, a big impact on American uh, privacy uh, communications law, at least up till 9-11 in the Patriot Act things started to change a bit. But what I don't think we appreciate enough about Justice Brandeis's legacy was his tremendous commitment to fact, to investigation, to forming a legal opinion and law based on actually understanding uh, the workplace, actually looking closely at business practices, actually trying to understand new technologies. Brandeis was in many ways a great pragmatist. He wanted to know about new technology. He wanted to understand its impact. And he wanted to give the states in particular the freedom to come up with innovative solutions that would safeguard important uh, public interests. And I think in this respect, uh, Ross Anderson is really a perfect uh, choice. Uh, to receive a Brandeis Award this year from Patient Privacy Rights. Um, Ross, as many of you know, is a professor of computer engineering at Cambridge University. He's been a leading advisor for the British uh, Medical Association. He's been the chair for the Foundation on Information Policy Research. I hope I got that right. And above all, an extremely influential voice in trying to assess the impact of new technologies on the right to privacy, both prodding businesses and government agencies to do a better job, and also calling attention to the fact when they fail to do what Ross knows uh, they need to do. Uh, I think patient privacy rights has made a wonderful decision. Happy to announce one of the recipients of the Brandeis Award of 2012 is Professor Ross Anderson. Well, thank you, Mark. Thanks, Debs. Thanks, everybody. Um, you know, I'm, um, I'm a computer scientist, not an orator. Um, I'm somewhat overwhelmed by this. You don't expect this sort of thing to come along. And I'm, you know, particularly humbled because in the 17 years I've been campaigning uh, for patient privacy in the UK, we've not really had much in the way of success. 
Um, you know, the machine has rolled on. We've been ahead of America in terms of um, healthcare IT for various reasons that we discussed earlier. And so the main thing that we can contribute um, is the empirical aspect, as Mark um, uh, mentioned. It's important to document what can go wrong. And we've seen an awful lot of the things that can go wrong when you try and computerize things um, heedlessly and um, in a great rush. But I suppose if we are to try and make a strategic analogy out of this, uh, we might hark back to the, um, the last war when uh, Britain learned some lessons in 1939 and 1940, which then turned out to be useful to America once America was drawn into the fray after that. So we can at least tell you where the, um, the traps and the pitfalls are and where the fire is likely to come from. And we hope that our experience may be of some use to you. Thank you.